Did you ever wish that you could turn plastic into metal? Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we're going to be turning plastic into metal in a simple process called electroform that you can do at home. Skulls. We are going to make these electroformed copper skulls from this plastic Halloween skull and show every step in between. Let's get started and turn that plastic into metal. After the skull is disassembled, we will need to figure out the surface area. We will do this by covering it with tape. Now remove the tape and rearrange it into a rectangle. Measure that rectangle to calculate the surface area. Now cover the entire outer surface with conductive paint. A good surface here will guarantee a smooth electroformed copper surface later. Hey, if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. We're moving really fast now. Let's paint the second side. Now reassemble and check for any missed spots. <laughs> Moving right along, your plastic skull is now officially conductive and it's time to add the hang wires. I'm adding them at several points to assure complete electroformed copper plating. And now here's where it gets really exciting. Coming up a little later, a metal skull. Now it's time to calibrate our power supply. Submerse the skull in the electroform bath and start the current off at 0.1 amps, then check frequently. It's been 20 minutes at 0.1 amps and we have a little bit of coverage. I'm going to raise the current and check again in about a half an hour. I've been checking and increasing the current every 30 minutes and we are now at the 2 hour mark at 0.9 amps. The electroformed copper plating layer is still very thin. I am going to take it out to inspect as it is a good time to correct any issues with the electroformed surface. Later in this video, ElectroClean. Let's start by removing the hang wires. Inspect thoroughly as this should be the last time it's taken out of the bath before it's completely electroformed. Make sure it's thoroughly dry before adding any conductive areas that aren't fully plated. All of our projects are made using Electro Jeweler Jordan's Electroform Small Tank Recipe. I'm putting the Electroform Skull back into the bath and now we wait. 15 hours later and wow, they look great, so bright. Those skulls are wearing their full metal jackets. This is the part that I love about electroforming. It's so rewarding. It's time for a little bit of clean up at the bench. First the file, now for a rubber wheel, and then some triple E compound on a brush. Keep watching for a two-toned patina. Using a desktop polisher, I'm gonna give it a quick buff. Now the copper electroform skulls can go to the next step. One of them will be nickel plated and the other given a patina. Both will now be electro -clean. Now we are going to nickel plate. It is a very fast process taking only about 5 to 10 minutes. If Onto the selective silver plating where I will just silver plate the skulls, pumpkin hat and base. Silver plating only takes a few minutes. We are going to do a two-tone plating. This patina will only color the silver layer and leave the nickel patina free. Crazy, right? It's also the perfect patina for copper. To protect the patina, let's apply a coat of jeweler's paste wax. Now buff to a shine with a cotton cloth. Finally, we get to install the lights. Thank you. Watch these here and keep on plating and creating. 